Hello, this is Jeanette. Today I'll be talking about core strength. Core strength. I hear a lot about core strength. <laughs> Here we go. Let's bring up my Facebook. I think I'm recording, yes. There we go. Today I'm talking about core strength. The way I understand core strength. Because I've been listening a lot about core strength, core values. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what's going on with the internal part of us? What's going on on the inside? Because, you know, a lot of stuff that's going on on the outside sometimes, or the ex most times, are the external factors, as I've been listening to these very, very uh, important and valuable programming, which is different than <laughs> a healthy programming on perceptions and how we view life, right? If I were all angry all the time and I'm trying to figure out, well, this, 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 and this happened, and so and so, and blah, 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 and it's all them, right? We're looking at the external factors. It's okay to do that. However, it's okay to also acknowledge ourselves as valuable people that we are. Our core values, right? The internal, what's going on in the inside. Because if we're letting all the outside factors get to us to the point where we don't know which way is up, which way is down, you know, doom and gloom kind of thinking, right? That's a kind of a toxic thing to do right it's not a healthy thing to do so how do we come back to take a nice inhale and exhale so it's just this Jeanette with my healthy connection talk today right Gigi's self-esteem journal so I listened to a really good program about again connecting to that core value what is that thing that we want to be strong in but we really don't think we have the ability or question our own ability, whether it's a struggle, whether the way we view life, the way the perception, and, you know, because we're all responsible for our walk of faith, right? Some of us get stumbled or get stuck in the walk of shame, walk of blame, right? When we acknowledge, oh yeah, Right? Again, that has to do with the ego. Recognize whether it's from the ego and say, Lord, I give it all to you. Right? I surrender all. <laughs> so here we go. Trust is a value. I just came up with this little quote today. Trust is a value. Truth is a value. Tenacity is a value. Teaching is a value. And for people who teach, we know always learning right we're learning something new sometimes we feel like we are we we win and we've arrived and then we go to the place where we're still in a place of learning right because we don't all believe the same way and hear things the same way and perceive things the same way or see things the same way or smell things the same way or taste things the same way or even our sense of touch right i was meant i yeah, I just need to mention that about 20 years ago, back in 20, uh, not even 20, 2001, I believe it was in summertime, I would write outside and one day I decided to write a poet, a poem <laughs> about the five senses. And if, you know, when we question whether God is there, well, he's been helping us with our sight. He's been helping us with our hearing. He's been helping us with our smelling. He's been helping us with our taste, even our taste buds. And he also helps us with touch, right? Touch is about, uh... anyways, here we go. Truth is a value. All about the values of life, right? Truth is a value. Trust is a value. Tenacity is a value, teaching is a value, and of course ongoing learning is a value too. 
we master a certain subject or certain things and then we just keep plugging into that learning tool because it's a healthy tool to learn, right? Your core strength is about letting go of what is not helpful and connecting to what is helpful. Your core strength is about letting go of what is not loving and connecting to what is loving. Your core strength is about letting go. I just came out of the shower. Uh, your core strength is about letting go of what is hurtful and connecting to what is healing. Your core strength is about letting go of what is is the external pressure. Uh, letting go of the external pressures and connecting to what your internal values, right? And if we don't deal with the external pressures and learn that that's external, it's going to start affecting our internal values and the pressure, we'll feel that pressure inside us. Whether it's fear, whether it's anxiety, whether it's resentment, whether it's shame, whether it's blame, right? Bad energy, we'll feel that in the inside of our body and all you, oh, what's going with me right I know from experience <laughs> your core strength is about letting go of what is a soul tie example again it's resentment it could be bitterness it could be shame it could be blame it could be you know um, those moments that we felt unloved unheard unseen perhaps right so, and con uh, connecting to what is soul salvation, for example. What's soul salvation? We learn. We get better at understanding concepts and perceiving, listening to other people's perceptions, picking up on cues when somebody else is hurting. You're not, we're not the only person. I'm not the only person in the room that may be experiencing pain of some kind of pressure. Right, and connecting to uh, that soul salvation, right? The feelings. It's okay to have, use feeling words, especially when we're communicating with people. We don't want to sound like that. <laughs> for me, anyways, I don't want to. I want to show up as a person who's actually using active listening. And if I don't know what's going on in the room around me, because I'm too busy on the phones. I may seem like I'm caring, I'm loving, right? And I want to show up as a caring person. Uh, example, healthy boundaries. That would be a good uh, way to experience and express soul salvation, right? And the experience of salvation, not just What's my opinion about salvation, right? Experiencing it. And, ex you know, healthy boundaries, experiencing. Experiencing healthy boundaries. Uh, and these are my steps so far for today, up to today. I do have a link on there that will be posted in the description uh, for the pedometers. It's called pedometer which is the counts your steps and your movements body movements and here we go nine days ago i did twenty thousand steps eight days ago ten thousand seven days ago ten thousand six days ago ten thousands five four three two <laughs> and yesterday and today ten thousand each that's not bad not bad at all and now I'll read the French one. Oh, this is what I wrote today. My little quote it did. came on my spirit. That's what happens when we get in touch with our core values. You know, whatever that is for you. Here we go. I put in trust is value. Truth is value. Tenacity is value. Teaching is value. I know, right, for teaching, we learn first and then we teach, right? Doesn't mean we tell other people what to do, what it is that we teach ourselves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I 
I'm okay, kind of thing. All right, the French version. La confiance est un, une valeur. La vérité est une valeur. <laughs> La tenacité, c'est une valeur. Et l'enseignement est une valeur. Le journal quotidien de l'estime de soi, le GG. Ginette. J'ai dit GG, c'est marqué Ginette aussi. <rire> ah. La confiance est une valeur. La confiance en soi, c'est une valeur. Tout ce qu'on a confiance en nous, on peut savoir qui qu'on peut avoir confiance en. Euh, la vérité est une valeur. La tenacité est une valeur. Et l'enseignement est une valeur. Votre principale force, ça veut dire votre énergie, votre bonne énergie. On va dire ça à la place principale force. Je ne suis pas, pas habitué à utiliser la, la translation. Là, je veux dire, votre énergie, votre bonne énergie réside dans votre capacité à abandonner ce qui n'est pas utile et à vous connecter à ce qui est utile. Votre bonne énergie réside dans votre capacité à abandonner ce qui n'est pas aimant ou aimante et vous connecter à ce qui est aimant ou aimante. Loving. Votre bonne énergie réside dans votre capacité à abandonner, vous laisser aller, ce qui vous blesse et à vous connecter à ce qui, qui guérit. Votre bonne énergie réside dans votre capacité à abandonner ou laisser aller les pressions externes et à vous connecter à votre valeur interne. Votre bonne énergie est de laisser aller ce qui est le lien avec l'âme. Le ressentiment, comme exemple, comme un, un lien avec l'âme. Un lien avec l'âme, c'est un saut taille en, en anglais. Hein? Cela, on dit, le ressentiment de votre connecté, de, ce serait un exemple, le ressentiment, et de vous connecter à ce qui est le salut de l'âme, le réveillement de l'âme, le réveillement de la con, conscience, le réveillement de la... Oh, je suis réveillée. Je l'ai attendu cette histoire-là avant, mais là, je la comprends. Tu sais? Euh... Puis là, on trouve les limites 5. Ça veut dire ça? Boundaries. Qu'est-ce que c'est les, les boundaries? Qu'est-ce qui, que, qu -ce qui est acceptable pour moi et qu'est-ce qui ne l'est pas? Puis quand je suis euh, dans un espace où quelque chose n'est pas acceptable, Peut-être c'est un moment de prendre le temps de guérir, de comprendre les choses d'une meilleure façon qui marche pour vous. Avez une bonne journée aujourd'hui, c'est génial de ça. Génial. Day today.